How are you guys doing today? This is Martin. You know me from my series on how to pay off your car loan in 36 months without giving up Starbucks. I haven't been to Starbucks in a while. Or being cheap, or you've been watching my little conspiracy theory things on the weekend. Well, now I'm just down to business. My goal is to help the 6.6 million of you who filed for the first um, unemployment checks because you guys are going to be ones that help turn around the economy and what I want to do is give you guys the best skills I have that I've used because I went through a layoff and back in 1995 that's why I'm qualified and I know what it's like to like have your friends turn against you or if you try to get back into the building where you actually work they think you're going to come do like a murder suicide thing so they're not going to let you back in so what I'm going to do today, we're going to talk about one of the emotions that you're going to just have to deal with when it comes to being unemployed. But before that, I want you, like I told you before, I'm going to help the 6.6 .6 million people. Now, if some of you guys who are unemployed want to jumpstart, you say, hey, Martin, I like what you're saying and I want to get some extra training. Tell me about those three videos you used to reduce your student loan from 93000 to 31000 within like five years or... Tell me how you paid off your car loan in 36 months without getting up, how you paid off your car loan like in 17 months after you got like a new camera in 2012. Or let's let me just give let's go in a little bit more detail of what, what you're talking about on your uh, unemployment ones. Like tell us how did you survive and get a job during a time where there was no internet? You mostly had Kinkos, or you had to go to like a job center like I went to on Long Beach Boulevard and Long Beach. So what you can do is send me a check, Martin Morris, make it out to Martin Morris, P.O. Box 540, San Bernardino, California, 92402. That's P.O. Box 540, San Bernardino, California, 92402. The reason I'm having it, that's the heater. Well, the reason I have it as a check, I want you guys to learn how to float. You gotta learn how to float checks once you're unemployed. You can't always just use a credit card, because the problem with the credit card, it goes through automatically. Sometimes you want to play around with that money, because you may need gas money, or you just want to give the check to a person, let them know the money's coming, so you don't get like a late fee or to lock in something. That's why. So $30, get, I'll, we'll go into more detail about what you want to get. It's like my three best videos, a Zoom call, and then if you have like one objection, you keep hitting up against, send it to me. So at that, let's get started. Yes, because I'm going to get you 6.5 million back to work. I want you guys to avoid, teach you guys how to avoid some of the setbacks that a lot of people are going to hit because I've been there. So let's get to it. Enough of my rambling. Got to try to make some money, though. I went through last night and read through, like, the physical stimulus package. I wanted to find out, like, what clauses exactly would help a person that's unemployed. Some of what's in it, you can go back and read it yourself. Some of it, what's in it doesn't really, doesn't really apply toward the individual, applies toward businesses, and some of it applies toward, uh, like, negotiation for unions. But these are the clauses that if I were you, unemployed, and I went back and read it again a couple of times, it's unemployment section. I think it's Title II, subsection A. Or so, it's just like, okay, let me just give you the numbers. Let's go back, look, go type in physical stimulus package approved by the Senate. Section 2101, should go read that. That just gives you a general introduction. Section 2102. Section 2103, one of the sections, I don't exactly know, just told you about how supposedly you should be able to apply for the check. And like usually, like I told you in the old days, when you apply for an unemployment check, you would have to wait one or two weeks because you had to go through the paperwork and stuff. It's like a big thing. But because of this pandemic slash recession thing, they have it so you waive the seven days. So maybe instead of waiting two weeks to get your check, you may actually get it in one. So you can comment, subscribe, comment, so you can stay updated on my on this. And you can let me know, did you get your check in one week or two weeks? And I'll tell you about at the end about something that's going to happen. So you should be happy you got your, i uh, compliment you guys for going in there. You 6.6 .6 million getting your checks first, because I'm going to tell you something that's about to happen that's going to screw up everyone that comes behind you. And there's section 2105, section 2106. 
section 2112, section 2113, section 2115. So if I were you, go back and just skim section 2101, 2102, 2105, 2104, 2107, 2112, 2113, 2114, 2115. If you don't get all that, just email me, M-A-R-T-C-H-I-N-G 2018 at gmail.com, M-A-R-T-C-H, M-A-T-R, M-A-R-T-C-I-N-G 2018 at gmail.com. I'll send you the exact clauses. But what you should be happy about is like um, section 2106. Let me just give you like, um, I guess yesterday, I've, I've been hearing that the people were lining up to get the unemployment checks. This is in Miami based on something like I've read from Grant Cardone and also heard on the radio stations. Like, oh, the people are violating the six feet, um, supposedly, whatever, social distance thing. So I'm thinking, okay, section 2116, beware of this one. This is the one that's going to like get everyone in trouble that's a politician. Section 2116, I believe, is a section that's supposed to have state oversight and um, monitoring to make sure the money gets used well and there's no fraud. That's the one that's going to kill it. So if you were the 6.6 .6 million who got your check, you guys will get your checks pretty easy because they've already gone through the system and they're not going to make any adjustment. Now, for all the people that come after you now, they in trouble, man. Because they're going to say, well, we want to make sure that the people who are on unemployment are actually unemployment. And now they're going to verify because what it is, like your company usually sends the paper to the unemployment office and they verify that that company has been paying unemployment wages. And that's how you get unemployment. So if your company doesn't pay into it and you don't pay into it, you ain't going to get it. Maybe you can try to get welfare. I don't know how it's going to work, but that had nothing to do with it. All this one was really was geared for to people supposedly working. So, and with 2116, I was thinking about it yesterday. What it's going to do is they're going to say, well, we also want people to line up for unemployment, but we also don't want them to get sick or anything. And what's going to happen, they're going to say, okay, I, I did the calculations yesterday. Like, we don't want to have a line more than one mile. Just say for hypothetically, we don't want to have a line of people more than one mile that we can handle on the day. And I think I calculated it, it came out to about 800. If you have like a mile, six feet apart for each person, you have, you'll be able to serve 880 people a day. So depending on what city you're in, that's 880 people, 880 people that were separated by six feet. And that's how many people that I could serve. So that's it. And then I was calculating, okay, well, if you stick to that, and the, assuming I said if you had maybe 200,000 people in your area that got whatever, laid off, furloughed, and they were there, it ended up, it would end up taking 442 days to get through all those people. So that means some people may not get their checks for like weeks or it could actually be months unless you're going to run an unemployment office 24 hours a day. So you guys do the math and let you let you know what I think. And then they're going to have like some fraud stuff. And then after that, oh, they're going to like delay stuff. And it's going to be a mess. So you guys are smart to get your unemployment initially because now they're like, oh, we don't want people six feet. It's almost over. They know they're just going to open up all the businesses, but all of a sudden they're like, they're going to mess it up for the people who need the money. Well, they did it already when they shut down the government, but they're the, the companies and stuff. So let's not go back into that again. So if you haven't applied for your unemployment, get in line now. Sooner or later, 2116 is going to like cause massive delays. And then they're going to say, well, we didn't know you should do that. We didn't want to do that, blah, blah, blah. You did your government mandated close every business because at the park today, close the parks, cops are all bored. They don't know what to do. So don't worry, guys. In June or July, when the budget cuts come from your department, some of you guys may be out of work. So if you want to go rob some banks, give me a call. Send me an email. We may get it on because I know I'm going to be taking a pay cut. I know a lot of people who are going to take pay cuts at other government agencies. And I know a lot of people at cities are going to get fired. So... Congratulate your governor. It's like, hey, thank them. At least you can go get some unemployment. But that only lasts from March 13th till December 30th. Wait, it's something like, I think if you go back and read it, it has something about being at like March 13th is when it was this so-called pandemic thing went down. 
And you have to maybe December 31st at the last day, I think, that you can actually get the money. So I'm not, I'm not sure, sure about that. And then another thing I did, I went back and just did a little research for you with the housing and um, eviction thing. So a multi-unit, okay, only you can only get a for only ones I know since I used to own duplexes. You can only get a you can't be evicted from your apartment if it's a government federally government backed place, you won't get evicted. That's the that is the little criteria. So if you live in a place that's just like a guy just paid all the money for the place out of out like a, like I paid for my house for cash and you're living in it, then I can evict you, possibly. But there's always some federal thing involved, so that's the little trick. So, and then after that, you have they'll let you stay in it for um, six months. You can actually go six months without paying your rent. Your credit will be destroyed. Credit will be destroyed. You're supposed to just tell your if it's a, especially if it's a, like a Section Eight, for example. If you live in a projects. Basically, that's federally funded. They won't kick you out if you're supposed to make Section 8 payments. So you'll just be there with the other dead pe people, and then just things will get crazy. So go back and read that yourself. I just want to let you know, if you want to play the game, like in the future, if you have like dreams of living across from a park, having a Mustang in a garage, looking at the homeless guy in a mobile home park, that's what's going to happen if you don't pay your rent for six months. You'll skate for six, go buy your place, but you end up like where, like living in a, across in the ghetto. Got to worry about your kid getting raped or killed. Wife is probably sleeping with everyone in the here neighborhood, or switching around. The husbands have been at home sleeping around with everyone. Husbands with the guys, the girls, or whatever. Kids are scared to go out. Kids on drugs. Now, if you want to live in that kind of neighborhood, then don't pay your rent for six months. But you can technically get old. You can do it, but your credit will be destroyed. Be rest assured. So, but you don't want to do that, man. You really don't want to live for free anyway. It gets, it, it is not going to work. You don't. You, I mean, it'll, it'll kill your quality of life, man. When you give anything something for free, you already, you and I know. No one is. I'm black. I should know. I've seen Section Eight in the county. No one's going to take. No one's going to do the right thing when they get something free. Just going to fuck it up. So. And one emotion I said you got to deal with is deal with uh, humiliation. It's coming. That's what sent me into like a six-month spiral when I was drinking. Then I met up with the escort who lived next door to me who gave me more alcohol and more food to keep staying in the cycle till I finally pulled out. Yeah, it sucks because eventually you're going to try to go back to some of the places you work. They're going to totally ignore you, man. That's what the hard part is. You're like, and you're like, hey, I understand I got laid off. Hey, what can I do to help your business? Ah, oh, we really don't want you a while. Security kind of looks at you kind of strange. Like, uh, so, you know, they, they have a list, like I told you, they have a list. Retired, fired, unemployed, and laid off. And they'll say, well, I really don't know if you could come in today. We'll, get, we'll, we'll have to get a person to come down here and actually physically take you up now. <laughs> so... That's one emotion that you're going to feel. And another one, you're just going to feel the pain of just not having anything to do. That's why you got to get disciplined. That's why you got to get, get to the gym, go shopping, get up early. Your job now is to look for a job to make some money. Like I told you before, even if you're on unemployment, you still can work. That's what I learned. You'd like, I got paid three fifty six dollars a month. Or if I worked, like I worked some jobs, you work, you just take that little, they don't just, they'll just deduct on the next check. Instead of getting 356 and you made 300 a week, they'll deduct the 300 and give you 56. So it's like a give and take kind of thing. But anyway, you'd rather make your money anyway. Because I told you, once you start getting that check, that every month, who have you, every week, who have you talked to? Who have you talked to? What's their number? What's their number? Let's call them up. Hey, this is blah, blah. What's wrong with him? What kind of skills have you done? Are you coming to the training center to learn things? Just blah, blah, blah. It just rides you, man. It just wears on your nerves. So I don't want you guys to do that. So 6.6 .6 million people, I'm going to make sure you guys are the first ones making money. I don't care if you go back to work. Oh, and another pain you're going to have to deal with is once you get your first job, get ready to be laid off. Because that's my, in closing, because basically the unemployment is probably going to hit 15 to 16%. Back when I was doing a recession, it was like 7 to 8%. So you're not looking at about two to two and a half more people. 
So, and then you're gonna go to these businesses and like, unfortunately, 59% of businesses were already paycheck to paycheck or contract to contract. You're gonna get them one of those country com companies, they're gonna do something totally bizarre. Some person who's already worked there is gonna screw it up for you and you're most likely gonna get fired. So well, your goal while you're there, just to make money. That ain't gonna be a new job, it's not gonna be a career job. And we'll talk about some ways to make some quick money later, but. Get ready for the pain of losing another job. So whatever money you get from that new job you work, collect it, collect it, save it, save it, save it. Because that, that first job, I remember I got my first job, I told you I had another job, I'm number time in 2001 where I thought I had got a job, I waited two years, got a job. The company I worked with bounced two $5,000 checks in the bank. Bank closed down my account. They thought I was out of fucking mad, thought I was doing credit card fault. So just deal with the emotions of losing the next job, first job you get. Deal with the emotion of humiliation and just deal with the emotion of your friends just not wanting to talk to you anymore. And for those of you, $30, Mark Morris, P.O. Box 540, San Bernardino, California, 92402. Special training program, Zoom call, answer some of the objections you keep hitting. So let me know. Subscribe, comment, like. Subscribe, comment, like. And I want you guys to do like I do. Keep asking for money. Just keep bugging people for money. Big. That's what rich people do. They say, hey, if you give us money to uh, like those companies, hey, if you give us some money, we'll fire everyone. That's how you got to be. Just blah, blah, blah. Give me this. I need it. I needed it. I'm gonna I want the money, but also I'm going to deliver a product. So don't be afraid to talk about money anymore because a lot of people are going to be giving away something for free. A lot of those people giving away stuff for free are going to be living on the street where it's also always free. So comment, subscribe, like, comment, subscribe, like. Let me know what you think. Go back, read the physical stimulus bills. Go back and read, I think it's 4204 is about the eviction. If you have a house, we'll talk about that one later because this one is what I'm going to tell you you better sell your house if you can because 4204 is just, it, it's like they give you, they're giving you an out. And let me tell you, show you how to use it later.